Hello everyone and welcome back to my 164th custom farm toy series. I finally made a purchase that I've been waiting for for a long time. I bought a planter on eBay along with a box of other stuff and uh, I needed the tanks from the planter for these two small tanks right up here on top of my 1790. Uh, I'll put a picture in the video here of uh, what the actual planter looks like again that I'm modeling this after so you can see what I was going for. But uh, I think those tanks are about perfect in size. Uh, they're obviously going to need to be painted, and there'll be some detail paint and stuff that'll go with them as well. But uh, that's exactly what I was looking for there, and so that's good. And uh, I have a few other projects that I'm going to be able to get out of the purchase that I made on eBay. Here's the rest of what I got in that purchase. Everything is pretty much in parts condition, except for the gravity wagon here is in complete condition and this 7800 is only missing the exhaust uh, and so the 7800 will go in my pile of other 7800s that I'm going to be building uh, I think I have eight of them now that I haven't even started on and I have one that's in progress uh, that's kind of become my tractor of choice I just really like the build and it's fun to do and so I plan on uh, you know getting more and more detailed with them and uh, that'll be one of my specialty pieces that I like to make a lot of uh, the sprayer is missing the booms, but it would certainly make a good uh, water tank or fuel fuel trailer or something like that. And so that's definitely usable. Um, I'll probably end up taking the shovels and whatnot off of this, as well as this, and uh, using them for a different project. Uh, who knows what might that what that might be at the moment, but uh, they really aren't any good for anything else. The four-wheel drive tractor here. Uh, if I was going to do anything with this, I'd have to make it an open station, which I'm sure they didn't exist, but it would still be kind of a neat build um, because it's really tough to customize the tractors that have uh, black windows like that because there's no interior to them or anything. So you can customize them, but they just don't ever look as nice in the end. And then the green cart in the back here, uh, it just has, uh, it doesn't have the auger on it, which is very, very common for these. And so uh, who knows what I'll do with that one. Uh, I think I, at one point I was looking for rear tires like that. I don't remember why, but I, I think I need those tires for something. So uh, maybe I'll use those tires. But uh, all in all, you know, it was a pretty cheap purchase, and uh, I got a lot of usable stuff out of it. So uh, I am working on a 7800 right now, like they were saying, and uh, I've got a good portion of the paint done. I am waiting on a person I was in contact with about getting a steerable front end made. He's got a 3D printed version. Uh, and I want to buy a handful of them from him. If uh, that doesn't pan out, I will probably design my own and get them printed on Shapeways. And uh, so if I do that, I will share the design process with you guys a little bit because the 3D printing thing is getting really big in the toy farming world. And uh, then I will share the link and everything so that you guys can purchase those if you want to work on one of your own projects. So as always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check back for more. So here's the planter that I bought, and you can see where I removed those tanks for the other project I was working on. And uh, these planters are getting harder and harder to find, and so uh, it's kind of nice to be able to find one. And uh, it's nice to be able to find one that's not perfect. Uh, this one's got a bunch of glue residue on it from something, and the hitch was missing. And though I didn't want to do this to something that was in good shape, and so I'm glad that I found this planter. And uh, I have some plans for it here in the future. Uh, for the rest of the parts obviously I'm gonna cut the rest of the tanks off and I'll keep those for you know other projects down the road but uh, it's become very popular in our area to see homemade uh, three four two row planters uh, that people use for garden things or food plots or anything like that and so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna cut this planter up into sections I'll make a couple of three row planters so these three rows and those three rows and I'll cut it up and uh, then I'll use uh, the Moore's three-point hitch on one of them. Maybe I'll put wheels on one of them too. But, uh, and then mount that on the front. And I'll have a three-row planter for like a food plot or whatnot. And then I'll probably make a four-row out of the back here. And then I'll have two uh, row units left to make a two-row out of. So uh, that's my plan with these. And uh, there's more, uh, more adjustments that I can make. Like uh, the casting right here in between these row units wouldn't exist in real life and so that can go and uh, yeah so that's gonna be the, the what comes up out of this and hopefully down the road I can use the tanks for other projects as well